But you must marry me. You must. We are truly well matched. Once my heart is set on a man, he has to be mine. Leave this wretched wife of yours. And come with me, Ram, please. Madam, I quite understand your unfortunate plight, but I cannot leave my faithful wife and make a life with you. You are simply wasting your time. Wait. My brother Lakshman is living in a forest without a wife. He'd make a fine husband for you. He possesses many good qualities. Hmm. If I can't have Ra, then his handsome brother will have to do. Oh, Lakshman, my sweet man, how wonderful you are. You possess so many good qualities. I can see we are truly well matched. Come with me, my dearest. No, I can see you are too good for me. Go back to Ram. You will surely accept you as a second wife. And forget all about Sita. Sita! Sita! This horrible little woman preventing me from claiming what is rightfully mine. The hand of Ram and guaranteed happiness. I will kill her and you will be mine, Ram! Ram, wait! You cannot kill a woman. Then teach this woman a lesson and chop off her nose and ears. Yes, I have never seen 
seen such beauty in a woman. She is completely without morals, and she is completely without equals in her purity and charm. I am sure you could steal away her attention from this Ram, my handsome brother. <laughs> she would make such an ideal partner for you. You have convinced me, sister. I shall think of a plan to capture this. Circle? What circle? I promise not to leave the protection of this magic circle. 
You are talking nonsense, my dear. I am just a poor old man. How can I harm you? Oh, very well. Closer. Oh, most beautiful Sita, your future is in my hands now. Forget Ram, for I can offer you so much more than he can. Sita, got me. Ram, please save me. <laughs> your Ram cannot help you now. Who are you who dares to capture the wife of Ram? I, I am the mighty Ramana, king of Lanka, whose strength knows no bounds. You will be my wife, Tito, or you shall die. Then I will die. I will never be your wife. Never. I said you shall come with me. Ajitayu, oh, please save me. <coughs> Do not fear I will kill this wretched Ramana. Uh, you cannot kill me.
very strong and handsome and appear to be searching for someone. Yes, indeed they are. I think they mean no harm, but I fear for my safety. They may have been sent by Bali to kill me. Yes, sir, it's possible. Although, I have a feeling they're not dangerous. They both look extremely anxious about something. Nevertheless, I would like you to approach them and find out the purpose of their mission. Yes, I will do so. Sita! Sita! Where are you? Lakshman, where is my Sita gone? Ram, look! Oh, noble sir, please tell me who you are! I am Ram, son of Maharaj Dasra, king of Ayodhya. I was sent into exile with my wife Sita and my brother Lakshman. My dear Lord Ram, I'm so pleased to have met with you! But who are you? My name is Hanuman. I am the son of the wind god Vayu and minister to Sugriva. He sent me to find out the reason for your searching in the woods. Why do you look so anxious? You appear to be searching for someone. That wicked demon Ravana kidnapped my wife Sita. He took her away in his chariot. There were signs of a great struggle. My mind will not rest until I find her. I wish to speak with Sugriva to ask him for help in my search. Then I'll take you to see him at once.
But this is not true, <coughs> Robin. I have been sent by Ram to find you. Ram? Yes, look, he gave me this ring to show you, to prove my good intentions. This is Ram's wedding ring. I am very happy to know that Ram has sent you to find me. But why did he leave me here, so alone and, un and unprotected? Please do not worry, my lady. Ram did not know where you were. Once I tell him where you are, he'll come with a large army of monkeys and kill Ravana and rescue you from this miserable existence. Oh, I knew he could not have forgotten me. Indeed, he thinks of you day and night, ever since you disappeared from his life. Thank you, Hanuman. Now please, give this to Ram and tell him that Ravana will kill me in one month's time if I do not agree to be his wife, which I will never do. Yes. Dear Mother Sita, please know Ram will come very soon. Yes, that thought will keep me alive. I hear voices, I must go. Yes, quickly. It sounds like Ravana. Get the monkey in there. Grab him. over your head, and still you reject my advances towards you. I would rather die than give in to you. Then die you shall. Where is your Ram now when you need him? Ha! He shall never find you. You will be mine, Sita. No, I know Ram is coming. <laughs>
Lanka. Our life depends on it. Jayaram!
or you will die. What a sight you are before my eyes run. With a bunch of monkeys as your army. Ha! What a joke. You will not be laughing after my army is finished with you. We shall see. Ah! <laughs>
Fourteen years ago, I let an embittered mate take over my mind and convince me to send this wonderful boy away. Tell me, Kushalia, how can I face him on this, the day of his return? Please do not weep on this suspicious day. My son has such a forgiving heart. He will bear no ill feelings towards you. Nevertheless, I do not have the courage to ask his forgiveness. He will forgive you. I know he will. Spread very far. Citizens everywhere rejoice. As excitement was prevalent everywhere. Brahms' name will be heard echoing from every corner of Iowa. Brahms' brother Baron, who had previously gone to Nandaga, on hearing of Brahms' exile, came back to Iowa and arranged for a wonderful festival to be Brahms. Festoons were erected, and gorgeous lamps were lit. The citizens were so elated and couldn't wait to see their beloved Ram once more. <coughs> Here. 
I am overcome by grief at the sight of you, Ram. My mind is haunted by my cruel actions towards you in the past. If it were possible to rectify my misdeeds, I would do so immediately. I have no right to, but please forgive me, Ram. During my exile in the forest, I bore no bad feelings towards you. My banishment from the palace was but an arrangement of the demigods to protect the planet from the forces of evil. There is nothing to forgive. Thank you, Ram. Sunshine has entered the kingdom of Ayodhya once more. The palace, which for so many years was haunted by grief, is now alive with the sounds of laughter and joy. Dearest brothers, Ram, Lakshman, and Mother Sita, welcome back to Ayodhya. Yeah! My good citizens, be rest assured that I will never leave you again. My home is always with you all in Ayodhya. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. 